in 2023, there were more than 73 million abortions that happened across the world. 73 million people from last year alone who would have grown up to be doctors, pilots, nurses, lawyers, politicians, astronauts, and maybe even more importantly, husbands, wives, moms, dads, grandparents, who sadly were sacrificed on the altar of the abortion industry or even died as the result of a death penalty for a crime they didn't commit. 14 states in a post Roe v. Wade America have already banned abortion essentially completely but that doesn't mean that we can stop fighting now, which is why I've dedicated so much of my content and my public speaking this year to educating people about the reality of the abortion industry, what an abortion procedure actually is, because sadly far too many people have absolutely no idea what it is, and more importantly, why we have to fight to make abortion not just illegal, but culturally unthinkable if we say we care about human rights. This is easily the greatest human rights issue, I would argue, of all time, but certainly of our lifetime. I'm a member of Generation Z. I was born in 1997, so I'm the first year of Gen Z, and I bet you guys probably didn't know that over one-third of my generation is missing. One-third of my generation is missing in the United States of America today simply because of abortion alone. But I thought it would be really fun to take a walk down memory lane over this last year and share with you a best of pro-life debates uh, compilation, mostly from my tour with Kristen Hawkins last spring semester, almost a year ago, where I was very fortunate to join her, the founder of Students for Life of America on college campuses across the country. Many of you guys have seen some of these videos already, but I do think it's important for us to remind ourselves how we have this conversation to begin with. These are obviously the most viral clips and crazy nights of the whole experience. Without further ado, here are the crazy craziest, most viral moments of pro-life debates from this last year to celebrate the March for Life. The Nazi go home! 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 Where is the campus Nazi security? Nazi go home! Nazi go home! We can't disrupt this. Nazi go home! Okay. Nazi go home! Okay, stop, just stop. Nazi go home! Just stop, just stop. Nazi go home! Is that going or just me? Nazi go home! We don't right, need thank this. Nazi go home! Wow. Sir, you can take your misogynistic views and step back. You're not me. What the fuck are you doing? Oh! Oh! Misogynistic views! Excuse me, ma'am. My name. Oh, what you gonna do? We're gonna dox us? No, no interest in that. Uh, we are gonna have a real conversation. So we're at VCU and Antifa's trying to crash our event. Yeah, you can back up and get out my personal space. Kevin is The vast majority of the school hates it. They just want we you don't want you here. You don't have to like us. We can have a real So we have invited everyone to ask us questions instead of scream at us in the middle of this event. My name is Kristen Hawkins. I'm president of Students for Life of America. Thank you for coming tonight. I would be happy to take any questions you may have. Right now we have a lot of men trying to shout the great irony of all of this is that this is the type of behavior that is actually fashion. Just so you know. So, just a thought. Why don't you guys come down and we, we mean it. No question is off limits. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. No, this is what fascists do. Or that you can't disrupt like a peaceful gathering. Like, why isn't anyone stopping? There's students here that have gathered to hear me speak, and no one's doing anything. Are you going to remove them? Because they won't. We've, we've offered to suspend their speech, to just answer their questions, and they got in line. So they're not doing anything. Can I ask your name? Can I ask your name, sir? What's your name? women in 
in jail for obtaining abortions. We as the pro-life movement stand fundamentally against those laws, which I would love to explain to you. Do you really have nothing else better to do than to come scream at a 25-year-old on a college campus? Who is they? We stand firmly against those laws. We stand firmly against those laws, sir. A 10-year-old girl was knocked up by her father. I would love to hear more about that story. No, I am firmly against those laws. The doctor who helped her was investigated. Do you think he's going to help 10-year-old girls raped by their father? I don't believe that ending an innocent life is the answer to violence. And I stand against putting women in prison. So a literal grown-ass man would rather come yell at me than do something valuable with his time. Thank you for coming up and saying that. I don't know if they're gonna let me speak, but I'm not gonna leave until they just I'm not gonna let them like tell me I can't speak. So so thank you so much for coming. She's pro-choice and came up to me and said she came here because she really wanted to hear our talk tonight and she wanted to know if I was actually gonna be able to talk. And and so she I said, I don't know, but I'm not gonna leave. But she wanted to thank me for coming here tonight as a pro-choice student. So there is hope in humanity, just not with these people, sadly. Because abortion is a term that has been used for treatment of ectopic pregnancy and miscarriage. Ectopic pregnancy and miscarriage treatment is fundamentally different from an elective abortion. I I would love to answer your question. The treatment for an ectopic pregnancy and a miscarriage. Okay. Thank you. What happened to you? Are you with them? Yep. You got in the mix of that? Are you all right? Well, that was fun. <laughs> I honestly sometimes forget that those things happen. Like, they're just so outrageously crazy that I end up blocking them from my memory. But I'm so grateful for the opportunity to converse with people from all different walks of life and do what we can to change as many minds as possible. Now it's your guys' turn. So today, if you're not marching in Washington, D.C., or if you're not attending one of your state March for Life events happening in your state capital, do me a favor and just try to put something out there within your sphere of influence, whether it's a post on social media, a conversation that you have over a cup of coffee with a friend, or wearing a fun pro-life t-shirt to school next Monday, whatever you can do to help your community understand why we fight so strongly for life, for the one third of our generation who isn't here. We march for them.